Hey guys, Scott here, and my ongoing quest to prove that the whole I'm top MMR, that's why I'm losing, is just copium, and it always has been. Um, Behavior has now released statistics for the top 5% MMR, which I'm willing to bet is that, like, infamous 1600 soft cap. If you're unaware, once you get past 1600 MMR, you are now able to match with everyone else that's above you. There's no real upper cap. So um, basically what it boils down to is old red rank matchmaking where you can have people on that lower end of the 1600 just being average to slightly above average. And you can have people much higher that are actually extremely good and they're all in the exact same player pool. So you get a giant mismatch of skill pretty much every single game, which is basically old, old matchmaking. So my whole argument has always been that top MMR is just the exact same thing that we've had since the entire game's lifespan. And a lot of people keep telling me I'm wrong, but they keep releasing data that proves I am not wrong because this is the top 5%. And we have Wesker, Plague, Dredge, Oni, Pinhead, Sadako, and Blight, all better than Nurse, apparently, in terms of kill rate. Now, I know kill rate is not a end-all indicator of what's going on in a match. I'm not stupid. I understand that sometimes you get two hooks in a match, but then you have no ed and you, end ex you get a 4k because of that. doesn't mean you were doing well in that match. It just means you ended up winning at the very end at the same time you always get a lot of people like in the entire community everyone is like trying to play sweatier because now that they know that kills are all that matters well now they're going for kills more they're camping and tunneling and slugging more and they're doing this because kills are all that matters right so at really the end result of how many people you kill is the only thing that matters but at the same time, they'll argue that, well, it doesn't matter because I wasn't doing well the whole match. I got a 4K, but it was because of my note. The whole point is you can't have it both ways. You can't say that kills are what matter and then not care that you got a 4K in the end by the manner in which you got to that 4K. So you can't have it both ways. And I noticed a lot of people in the killer community are trying to have it both ways. Um, if the end result is you get a 4k, then that's really all that matters. Accor I'm not saying that's correct, but according to the devs and according to the way wins are registered and the way most of them believe that they need to play now, that's just how it is. Um, so if we have a scenario in which, you know, Pinhead is being labeled better than Blight and Nurse, obviously this is ridiculous because we know Pinhead is not better than Blight and Nurse. We know that. And because we know that, we can prove that this data doesn't really mean much of anything. And from that, we can extrapolate the fact that top MMR, as a claim to difficulty of your match, doesn't really mean anything. We have Pig above the Artist. Artist is like the third best killer in the game, and the Pig is, has a higher kill rate than the Artist. I, I don't know how much more data they need to keep shoving down people's throats to prove that killers are just doing better than people claim they are. There's so many people claiming that killers are getting destroyed every match, and it does happen. And I still think the biggest culprit of that is not the killers, it's not the players, it's the maps you randomly get, which is why sometimes you can feel like a killer is super strong and super weak at the same time. If you get Shelter Woods one game and you get Fractured Cow Shed the next game, the same killer can feel like both the best and worst killer in the game. So it's really maps that are a major indicator, and I'd love to see a more map-related data pool because I truly believe that is the highest influencer on the kill rates of a killer. I really do believe that. But other than that, this is an overall average. And if we have a scenario where Dredge is seen as better than Blight and Nurse, well, then we have to just assume that the data at this level is also meaningless. A lot of people want an MMR because they would finally be able to see at top MMR and, and you know, the, all the best players, what killers are too strong, what killers are too weak, and they need, would buff and adjust that. And I always knew that that was never going to change anything because they were never going to be able to actually dictate who was the best and who was the worst. And on top of that, they were never going to be able to perfectly match make them because there wouldn't be enough players of that caliber to match with each other to prove that. So what we have now is a system that is basically no different, maybe slightly better than the old system because at least it will try to prioritize your closer MMR first. But still, if you have a queue that's more than like a minute or two, which is pretty damn common depending on the time of day that you play the game, you're going to have a scenario where you're just no different from the old run rank matchmaking. You're going to have a giant varying levels of skill every match with the sole determining factor i think being what map you get and so yeah it's, this is just more proof that the whole high mmr thing i have to sweat i have to tunnel i have to camp and all that stuff because i'm high mmr doesn't mean jack shit you, the high mmr is the, the data was surprisingly similar actually if you check it the data is surprisingly similar to the actual regular MMR too. There's a couple of changes, but it's only like a couple of percent here and there. It's really not that much of a difference. 
So it, it was remarkably similar at all MMR, which is what this is. This is just everybody. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to go over that again because it's just... People just keep saying that this top MMR is such a stressful hellhole for killer and it's like impossible and you have to do the sweatiest shit possible. Um, but this just proves that fucking Pinhead is, is <laughs> winning like more than Blight and Nurse apparently, which is, I just find funny. And it's important to remember, you can't be a killer that has increased your tunneling and camping and stuff recently because the devs have proven that kills are their win condition. You can't be a killer that does that now and then your result is a 4k because of those conditions but at the same time you don't care because the method in which you got there wasn't to your satisfaction so i agree i don't want the game to be balanced around that kind of stuff but here's my opinion on that matter i don't think it is i think killer has been made easy enough to the point where you legitimately do not have to tunnel slug and camp anymore maybe every once in a while like one guy or something like that I'm not saying you never do it. Hell, I do it in some of my games too. Sometimes a situation arises where someone is saved and I have no option but to tunnel somebody because the guy just hides or something like that. It does happen. I'm not pretending I'm super innocent and I play super jolly survivor rule book every, every single game. Um, but I genuinely don't have to camp and tunnel all that stuff in all my games. And again, I know I play this game more than most people. I'm not indicative of a normal player or anything like that. And I completely understand that. Um, you can get to that point, but it's not realistic to expect that too. And that's completely fine. But the whole point of this is just that that whole top MMR thing, if you've ever said in an argument, well, I'm top MMR, so I have to do this. I mean, this just proves that this just it's just not true because the matches are almost the exact same as the low MMR. Um, this data is basically just proving that all this matchmaking stuff is meaningless. Otherwise, you would not have Wesker with significantly higher win rates than Blight and stuff like that, because, you know, Blight is obviously better than Wesker. Uh, so that's pretty much it. I don't know how many times they have to keep releasing information like this until people will accept it, but I'll keep reporting on it till they do. Thanks for watching.